Hey everyone, welcome back to the AZ104 exam preparation series. Today it's a wonderful weather. I hope you can hear some raindrops falling on my window pane. But anyways, in last few videos, we have covered a lot of questions, lot of important and the latest questions on many concepts such as Azure Monitor. We also covered Azure Virtual Machines, Microsoft Entra ID. And not only that, in the last videos, I also explained what is the major difference between Azure Advisor and Azure Monitor because lot of people really get confused within these two concepts and there they lose precious marks. So please watch the previous videos. And in this video, my friends, as I promised in the last one, we are going to focus on Microsoft storage and the replication options. And before I start today's video, I request you to watch the video very carefully. The questions are really tricky. So watch the video very carefully, pause the video, think about the answer and then match it with the answer that I give. And in case you have some counter view, in case some part of the question is not clear, then please do let me know in the comment section. And there in the comment section, we can surely have some discussion. But for now, let's get started with this video. And here comes the first question for today. Question number 196 part 34 and this episode my friends this video is really intense you will learn a lot of things around the Azure storage account Azure storage redundancy options Azure replication options so please listen to the questions very carefully as we reach to the double century of our questions so this question says that you plan to create an Azure storage account in the Azure region East US 2 now you need to create a storage account that meets the following requirements. The first one is that it should replicate synchronously and second one is that this remains available even if a single data centers in the region fails. So how should you configure the storage account? To answer select the appropriate options in the answer area and please note that each correct selection is worth one point. So here you can see that we are given with these two tables. So that's why it means that you have to choose two correct answers. So the first one is you have to tell the exact and correct replication option. And secondly, you have to tell the correct account type. So let's check out what are the options given for the replication. We have geo redundant storage, which is GRS. Then we have locally redundant storage LRS read access geo redundant storage, which is also known as RAGRS. And lastly, zone redundant storage, also known as ZRS. So first, let me tell you the correct answers and then we will look at the documentation and validate our answers. So the correct answer for the replication is zone redundant storage, which is also known as ZRS. Now let's move on to the account type. So here we have options. Option A, blob storage. Option B, storage general purpose version 2. And option C, storage V2, which is also known as general purpose version 2. And the correct answer is, well, I'm sure that you might have already guessed it in case you have little understanding also about the Azure storage account. And that is storage V2 or also known as general purpose version 2. And before we jump on to the documentation, let me tell you a little bit more about the ZRS or zone redundant storage. So basically, ZRS replicates your data synchronously across three storage cluster in a single region. And that is what our ask for the question as well, that it should remain available even if the single data centers in the region fails. So we have three data centers in the same region and ZRS will ensure that the application remains available. Now coming to the locally redundant storage, why we have not picked this? Well, the locally redundant storage would not be available if the data center fails in the region. So that's why this is not the correct answer. Now coming to the geo redundant storage and read access geo redundant storage. Well, this are not picked because these options use asynchronous replication while the ask of the question is replicates synchronously. Now let me give you some documentation on Azure storage redundancy options. So here you can read first of all, all about the Azure storage redundancy. You have multiple choices of your data. And then you can also understand how your data is replicated within the primary region, whether your data is replicated to the secondary region or geographical distant apart or primary region. So a lot of options, lot of information is given in this documentation. And please understand my friends, these are very important concepts. Lot of questions from Azure storage account always revolve around this redundancy, GRS, LRS, ZRS. So all these options are pretty confusing to many of you. So please understand all about these options. What is the locally redundant storage and what is exact the use case of the same similar for the zone redundant storage. And you will also be able to find the other options in the same documentation. 
So for example, if you go down, you can also find out geo redundant or GRS or geo zone redundant storage options as well. So please understand all about these options. So with that, let's jump on to the next question. Question number 197. Once again, very important question and equally confusing. So let's read the question. It says that you have an Azure subscription that contains the storage accounts as shown in the following table. So this is the table and you need to identify which storage account can be switched to the geo redundant storage or GRS, which storage account should you identify? So here we can see this table is given and we are given with four options or four type of information. First of all, it says what is the name of the storage 1234. Then we are given with the kind. So we have storage V2, blob storage, file storage and storage, which is general purpose version 2, which is an old type of storage account. And then we are also given with the performance. So we have standard, two standard options and two premium options. And lastly, we are given with the replication option. So this tells us whether the storage account has the replication of zone redundant storage or locally redundant storage, what kind of replication this storage account has. So for example, we have two options given zone redundant storage and locally redundant storage. Now let's check out the options. The options given are option A storage one only option B storage two only option C storage three only option D storage four only and option E storage one and storage four only and lastly option F storage two and storage three only. And once again to emphasize more the important section of this question is this one that account can be switched to the geo redundant storage. And based on all this information based on all these tables and what is the ask of the question the correct answer for this question is could you really guess it? Well the correct answer is option B storage two only. So let's check out what are the information given for the storage tomb. Well, this is storage tomb. It is of blob storage and this storage has the performance of standard type and this has a replication of locally redundant storage or also known as LRS. Now let's try to understand why exactly we have not chosen other storage one, three and four. So first of all, we have these zone redundant storage. Let's try to rule these out. So zone redundant storage is in option one and option three. You always remember and listen to this very carefully that storage account that is already configured as zone redundant storage that cannot be changed or directly switched to another replication setting. So that's why we can rule out storage one and storage three from the possible answers. Now coming to the storage four, well, the storage four is a kind of storage which is general purpose version two and it is of premium performance and it is also locally redundant storage. So let's understand why I have not picked this one. Well, the answer lies here. So you can see that this storage is of general purpose version two. And these kind of storage, my friends, as I just told you, these are not used much these days. And that's why we are only left with the option two, which is the correct answer for this question. So this is the documentation that will validate our answer. This is titled as change the redundancy configuration for a storage account. You can read all about this, but I want to take you to the relevant section. So this, yeah, this is the relevant section. I'm not sure if you can see the entire table. But here in this table, you can see. So for example, we are switching from LRS to LRS and we are switching from LRS to GRS or RAGRS. So all the options are given here. And just below this table, my friends, you will see this section here. And here you can read that conversion to ZRS or GZRS for the LRS account resulting from a failover is not supported. For more information, of course, you can check this documentation as well. And that validates our answer for this question. But in case you still have some confusion, do read the question once again, pause the video, rewind it, listen to all the arguments and how I pick the correct answer and you will understand. But still in case you have some confusion, do let me know in the comment section. And for now, let's jump on to the next question. Question number 198 that says that you have an Azure subscription that contains the storage accounts as shown in the following table. So once again, a similar kind of table except for this access tier option given here. Now the question further says that you need to identify which storage account can be converted to the zone redundant storage or ZRS replication by requesting live migration from Azure support. This is very important line here. You can read that you need to pick a storage account that can be converted to zone redundant storage replication by requesting live migration from Azure support. So please understand the differences between this question and the previous one. Now the question is saying that which storage account should you identify? And here you can see this table gives you more information about all the storage one, two, three, four. 
and further you can see that storage 1 is of general purpose version 1 storage 2 and 3 are general purpose version 2 and then we have storage 4 as blob storage and then the performance information is also given so storage 1 is premium then we have storage 2 standard storage 3 premium and storage 4 standard once again now let's see the replication options so we have storage 1 as geo redundant or GRS, then we have storage 2 as locally redundant storage or LRS, then we have storage 3 which is read access geo redundant storage or RA GRS and lastly option 4 storage 4 which is locally redundant storage and finally we are given with the access tier information which is none for the storage 1, cool for storage 2, hot for storage 3 and 4. So now let's check out what are the options given here. So first of all we have option A storage 1 only, option B storage 2 only, option C storage 3 only and option D storage 4 only. And the correct answer for this question is option B storage 2 only. Now let's try to understand once again. So please listen to this very carefully the arguments that I gave why we have not picked the option storage 1, storage 3 and storage 4. So first of all I want to focus on storage 1 and storage 3. Now in these kind of storage looking at all the informations given for the kind performance replication and access tier well these storage will not support the live migration that is the ask of the question and also you have to understand that only the standard storage account supports the live migration and that is also one of the reason that we have ruled out the storage 1 and storage 3 and friends I will not touch the storage 4 I will leave this to you please try to find out what are the arguments and why would you not select the storage 4 do let me know in the comment section now let's very quickly jump to the question number 199 the question is saying that you have an azure subscription that contains the storage account as shown in the following table and you need to identify which storage account supports moving the data to the archive access tier so you have to basically select the option or select the storage account that supports the archive access tier so here is the information given we have four storage account one two three four the kind is also given so the storage one is general purpose version one storage two is general purpose version two type of storage then we have storage three which is storage again general purpose version one and lastly storage 4 which is blob storage then we can see also the redundancy options we have locally redundant storage for storage 1 storage 2 and 3 are zone redundant storage and then we have storage 4 which is read access geo redundant storage or RAGRS now let's look out the options given here option A is storage 1 only option B storage 2 only option C storage 3 only and then option D storage 4 only so friends pause the video think for a moment look at all the information given here and try to figure out the answer but for now let me tell you the correct answer the correct answer is option D storage 4 only and the reason is that only the storage accounts that are configured for LRS, GRS and RAGRS supports moving the blobs to the archive tier. And only the option D storage 4 which is a blob storage kind of storage and which has the read access geo redundant redundancy option fits the bill and we can validate our answer on this Microsoft documentation which is titled as access tiers for the blob storage here you have to go a little bit down and then you will reach to this section here so here you can read it says that only the storage accounts that are configured as LRS, GRS and RAGRS supports moving the blobs to the archive tier and now let's move on to the question number 200 the double century for us so here the question is saying that you have an Azure subscription that contains the storage account as shown in the following table very similar table then it says you plan to manage the data stored in the accounts by using the lifecycle management rules to which storage account can you apply lifecycle management rules so here we are given again with four storage account kind is given redundancy and performance is given so let's directly jump to the options given here you can read all the information by yourself so first of all option A storage 1, option B storage 1 and 2 only and then we have option C storage 3 and 4 only, option D storage 1, 2 and 3 only and option E storage 1, 2, 3, 4 all of the above. So let me give you the correct answer and that is option D storage 1, storage 2 and storage 3 only. And why this is so because the lifecycle management policies are supported for the block blobs and the append blobs in the general purpose version 2 premium block blob and block storage accounts so now with the information that i have provided you please match up that information and try to rule out try to rule out the options which do not fit in this and then you will be able to arrive to the correct answer 
So I hope you really liked the questions for today and understood the concept of Azure storage. What are the replication options? And please also do check out the Azure pricing option for the storage because many questions come around the same. And in case you're looking for the PDF files containing all the questions and the answers for both the Microsoft Azure series and Amazon AWS series, then please do email me at connectors at the rate thetechblackboard.com. And that's all for today. I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching.